Hello everyone. Thank you for tuning in. Today's recipe, I will be showing you how to make cake without an oven, without a misa. I am Rosie. You are welcome to my kitchen. I will measure out 500 grams of all-purpose flour. All-purpose flour is the same as plain flour. And for baking, you want to measure out all ingredients. You either use a scale or measuring cups and be sure the measurement is accurate. Sift the flour. It is best to sift the flour before using it. That is done. I'll be using some eggs, which is at room temperature. Butter, which is at room temperature. Milk. Vanilla extract. Baking powder. Salt. And measurement, this is a wrong measurement, so be sure to level the spoon or cups you're using. I will add salt. And mix the dry ingredients together. And I'll put that aside. I will oil the baking pan. I'm using melted butter. You can use oil to do this as well. You can place in parchment paper. This is to prevent the cake from sticking to the pan when the cake is ready. I will sprinkle some flour on the baking pan. and move it around and i'll go and dust out the excess flour and that is done i will preheat the oven and my oven today is the pot and to protect my pot, I'm going to add a little bit of salt. You can use sand and you can use the pot without adding either salt or sand. It's totally up to you. I will be using a rag to elevate the baking pan and this step is very important. The Baking pan shouldn't have direct contact on the pot. I will cover and leave it to heat up on medium heat. I will transfer 400 grams of butter in a mixing bowl. And the butter is soft. Add two cups of sugar. I'll be using a wooden spoon to cream the butter and sugar together and all ingredients must be at room temperature you need to bring out the butter and eggs from the refrigerator the night before you use it so to be honest with you this step is not easy it takes a lot of time and energy so if you have a hand mixer or a stand mixer you can use it scrape the bowl and keep whisking it until it becomes light so 
So from time to time, scrape the bowl. And keep whisking it. At this point, the butter and sugar is well creamed together. I will take out the wooden spoon. So once it's well creamed, it becomes very light and the color changes from when we started it. Add the eggs. I'm using 10 eggs and you need to add the eggs one at a time. So once you add one, whisk it together and once you finish whisking that one, then you go ahead and add another one. I will add a teaspoon of vanilla extract and mix. And add the dry ingredient bit by bit and mix. So I'll take out the wigs at this point and work with the spatula. So I'll mix it until everything is nicely combined and you don't need to over mix at this stage. Add milk and mix. And that is done. I will transfer the cake butter inside the baking pan. I will use the spatula to pack all the cake butter of the missing bowl. Tap the baking pan like so. 
and the cake is ready to be baked. Transfer the cake to the preheated oven and bake on medium heat until a toothpick inserted comes out clean. Cover the pot and leave it to bake. And this is 40 minutes later. I inserted a toothpick and is not clean. That means it's not ready. So it takes longer to bake on the pot than in the oven. Cover and leave it to bake. So I came back later. And I inserted a toothpick. And at this point, the toothpick came out clean. That means the cake is ready. Remove the cake from the pot. Transfer it to a cooling rack and leave it to cool for about 15 to 20 minutes. And this is 15 minutes later. I took it off the baking pan. And you can see the cake was very easy to come out because the pan was well oiled and I will flip it. And I couldn't wait to have a slice of this cake. This cake was very delicious and very soft. This is a perfect birthday cake. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel if you are not already. Thank you all so much for watching. Remain blessed. I will see you in my next video. Bye.